had the Monday Blues. And let's hope that the start of the week's go, England can get us going here in Volvo Red. Thank you very much for tuning in. This match, Group G, England and Tunisia, they play here as both these teams make their debut in this World Cup. First, the national anthem of Tunisia. It's been 20 years since England and Tunisia have played a competitive game of football against one another. Indeed, the two teams played in the opening match of France in 1998. Two England winning by two goals, one from Alan Shearer, one from Paul Scholes. Both of men have gone on to become legends in the English game. England will hope for something similar from their young team. Despite the low expectations that have been made of them as well. England come into the tournament with relatively good form. Tunisia, though, uh, will, have, will have a lot to prove themselves. Very technically gifted side that they are going to play with as well. Uh, uh, Shakri and Benamor in the middle, two anchoring midfielders as well. Kasri seems to be that their main outlet. And Kenisi, their number 32 up forward, is probably going to be that. For Gareth Southgate and his men, the challenge ahead of them is simple. Get out of the group. They need a winning start here today. John Stones and Gary Cahill are chosen to, chosen to be the centre-half partnership. Dare, Dyer, Henderson and Ali will play in a midfield three. Raheem Sterling and Marcus Rashford will play in a front three with the captain, Harry Kane. Well, it's been a long wait, but England are finally at the World Cup here. And they know for themselves that after expectations to go, and what was in the last one a good performance to Italy but ultimately it ended up being their downfall they lasted five days last time one hopes that perhaps they can uh, put in a better shift here though today here's Eric Dyer and still only to win one of their opening games in the last 30 years of an international tournament that was a 1-0 win over Paraguay in Germany in 2006. Since then, though, we've not seen a lot of England. We've seen a lot of Delhi Alley here, though. Here's Henderson. Already, though, England's showing us that they're happy to sort of to keep the ball, to move it around, try and find some sort of space. Here's a cancer. He's probably going to be there, sort of a danger man in there. And there's now his Rashford. It's a poor pass here, though, by Tunisia. Rashford puts a cross in. Kane going in there, good defending. England have a corner, seven minutes in. England have been known for starting tournaments, absolutely coming out of the blocks, playing wonderfully here though, and then fading. England need know that they're a good start what they want, they're going to want a good finish. Jordan Henderson to take the corner here. Oh, just wide from Dyer. Eric Dyer there, corner place, good whip, good curl, had the header, just seemed to be slightly off balance as the header came in, it's gone wide, first real sort of half chance falls to England here though, and this is Ali now, plays in Sterling, and that will be another England corner, and this is the group, England will play Panama next, that's this Sunday. You can see that one live with us as well, and then join us following Thursday for England against Belgium. Henderson again to take the corner. Kane is there, and Malofi is able to pick that one at the near post. Didn't have any real sort of power to it. Kane's shot sadly, here is Dyer now and now it's back to Kane and England here though just seem to be finding themselves a couple of yards here or there though 
Here's Ali. Here's Walker now. Dyer. Ali. Henderson has stayed forward here, though. Dyer again. This is Ali. Henderson trying to sort of free the ball back. Here's Cole Walker now. Rashford, who's come inside. Kane, nice little turn. Back to Henderson. Puts a cross in. Kyle, just wide from Deli Alley. The number 10. Nice cross, this was by Henderson. Deli Alley there, rising ahead, getting the header on target, but just falling wide. He'll know, he'll know. No team has more goalless draws in World Cup history than England. And that is how things stand at the moment. But as England stand at the moment, they are picking the ball back from Tunisia at will at the moment. Here's Carl Walker. Henderson. Kane. Oh, trying to look for the option back. The Tunisians here, though. Really, at the moment, I think, as they said, if England can press them, but this is where they're dangerous. This is Badri now. And he is tackled by Rose. It plays the ball to Rashford. Now back to Rose. Who's got away from his man. Should have been interception. There wasn't. Rose's cross isn't the most convincing. And that's Malofli here, though, to pick that ball up. Ben Amor. Kenisi, the centre forward. Here's Kasri. He's definitely going to be their danger man. This is Badri now. And Rose is across. Rashford there, though. Henderson charging forward at England, though. Trying to flick one through, and he has found Sterling, who has kept the ball in. Raheem Sterling for England. No one's in the area, and the clearance wasn't convincing. Tunisia at the moment, though, starting to find their sort of grip in the game. This is Kenisi. Trying to find Badri out wide. Header is by Dyer. Rashford across to Nagiz. Nagiz again. His cross into the area. And Butland comes and punches. Now it's Tunisia to have a little spell of the ball here. And Butland had to win that and did win it. And just coming up to half an hour played here. This is Walker. This is Ali. Kane dropping deep here though. Getting dispossessed. Tunisia definitely have sort of found themselves a little more into the match. This is Kenisi. Slitty. Referee's uh, way play on there for the potential sort of foul. Michael Walker goes in and Daly Ali is unable to prevent that. Slitty's found a ball. That's a nice little ball across just passed from Kasri. They need to be a little more quality there for Tunisia here, though. Corner, though, despite the efforts of Henderson to keep it away. Jack Butland, England's number one. England themselves have been coming to this tournament on good form. Kasri to take the corner. Goes to the far post. It's headed away. It's a mixture of Cahill and Dyer getting in there. Here's Ali. Dispossessing to Ben Amor, who puts a long cross into the area here, though. Has pulled back, and in the end, Walker hits it back. Niguez. And there is Rashford here, though. Just able to dispossess him, though. Henderson. Rashford's got it back again. This is Rashford for England, charging down the wing. Can he find an option for a cross? He's going to try and flick one back in there. Suspicious of handball, not given. Is Dyer Sterling? Here's Deli Alley Walker Henderson Kane. Oh, back to Henderson. One now. And at long, long last, the deadlock is broken. England are up and running. Lovely work by Kane finding it sticking the pass back into the gap there was Henderson with the finish nice link up between the two 
I think that might even have taken a knock. The effort looked deflected, but it's 1-0 England. There will be no 0-0 here today, but there is a lot more for them to do to get the results. Jordan Henderson. First Liverpool player to score at a World Cup since Steven Gerrard did so in South Africa eight years ago. And England will be hoping to at the very least emulate what that side did there by reaching knockout stage football. But they know that they've got to be wary of this Tunisian side which is very talented. And there's John Stones coming across to make the block. Now here is Sterling, Dyer. Henderson picks one back out and uh, Stan is a good challenge by Malou needs to come in number 23 Slitty he's a skillful young player though looking for Badgery but uh, passing isn't going to help them with errors like that here's Sterling now Deli Alley now trying to put one through to Henderson it just seems to sort of like hesitate on his run he's Cahill. The fourth official has indicated there will be a minimum of oh, Stones three with a poor pass. But Deli Ali helps England win back possession here though. And uh, Danny Rose has been unable to control the header. We are halfway through time added on here at the end of the first half. Ben Moore. To Kazri, he's definitely going to be there. The danger man here, though. England will be pleased with their efforts so far, and they're going to be pleased to go into the break in the leads. In Volgograd, it might as well be Wembley. It's Jordan Henderson that's made it feel like Anfield, and it's England that go ahead and have the lead here at half time. They lead Tunisia by a goal to nil. So England will get going here, 45 minutes more, hopefully as Monday night football goes, that was slightly pleasant. Tunisia failing to produce a shot on target in the entire first half. One wonders that they surely have got a little bit more to their game as this goes on. Here's Rose, here's Ali, who can hit them, he's trying to find Kane who has turned his man and the effort was at least on target, but Malofli here, though, was able to pick that up nice and easily here. Though. Who is Slitty user going to look to play? Can he see through? Stones across to make the block here. Well, it's only 45,000 seats here in Volgograd, but it looks full. Very well attended and very pleasant World Cup so far. Here's Carl Walker. Henderson flicked out wide to Rose. He plays a passport to his former Tottenham teammate and Carl Walker now. Deli Alley again. And uh, Shackley does well to come in and make that challenge here though. Here is Henderson here though. And uh, Kinesi's got away from him and that pass doesn't quite sort of find the the man he's after. Here's Jordan Henderson again though for England. It's been bright. Well, what's been said of Jordan Henderson but recently now he's starting to sort of show some of the promise that he may have done and that looks like it was a foul there on Walker. And this is really nicely done. Here's Delhi Alley for England. Oh, just seemed to hesitate at the vital moment. Was through, went near post far was gaping and Malofli celebrates the save Deli Alley here though will think that we've got to do more England though have done well they've kept the ball been moving been positive rainy evening here Henderson with the corner and the header is eventually sort of cleared away this is Stones Henderson now trying to pop one back into the area Deli Alley wanted the flicker and he didn't get it here though now England have got themselves into trouble. This is Kinesi. 
And he again has found Badri. And Badri skipped away. England are in trouble. And they've got to do better. Badri with the effort. Got to do better. Butland is there. Does he get his fingers to it? He does. It's a corner. It's taken just short of an hour, but Tunisia have a big chance. They're attacking their fans here to our left. Corner comes in, and Jack Butland as well. Look at this. This is Sterling now. Just charging at the opposition here, though. Raheem Sterling. What can Sterling do? He can pull one back. Henderson. Oh, good challenge. Abadio coming in. This is Kinesi. Benamor. Kazri. Deli Ali dispossesses here, though. Here's Kane. Rashford wants it. It's played out wide to him. Can he stick it back in across goal? No. Good defending again from Tunisia. Game starting to open up here, though. Goal back for Tunisia. It changes dramatically, but another for England. Might settle this. Henderson against Badri. He's able to get the better of him. And there is Danny Rose across to make the challenge. And Henderson there diving in. Throw in made. Marcus Rashford to take. Rashford scored that wonderful goal in England's warm-up game against Nigeria. One hopes that he can sort of find it. But he's playing out uh, on the right. He probably prefers to be more left than in that position. Here's Rose now. Here's Deli Alley. Just a lovely bit of skill to get past his man. This is Deli Alley for England. Goes for it. And Lofty is able to claim that. Maybe changes lined up through the side, but it's easy at the moment, though, and they probably need to think about going for this best they can. This is Shakri now, and that's a nice ball to Slitty. He's found a way past Cole Walker here, though. He puts a cross in, and the cross itself wasn't good enough. Needed to be a lot better, that ball. Here's Walker. Sterling. Sterling trying to play. An impossible pass there to Rashford. This is Rose now. Trying to play in. Oh, this is lovely by England. Oh, that is brilliant football. How did Raheem Sterling win that header? But Deli Ali made the run and gambled. Rose's ball in. There is the flick there from Sterling. Deli Ali there with the cool, calm finish. First time, no fuss. The England midfield have helped them march through this game and they lead by two to nothing. Deli Ali delighted. He's on the score sheet. And England might be up and running here. Goal for the visitors. Number 10, Deli Ali. Lofty here with the clearance. Well, England there, though, showing a little bit of route one is sometimes always an option. Here's Rashford now. Oh, that's a really nice pass. This is Rose. He's balls found Henderson, and England have a third. Jordan Henderson gets England away. And is the equal best ever win in a World Cup. They just seem to be taking it past Tunisia at will. Lovely pass by Rashford. Played through to Rose. Lovely cross into the danger area. There is Henderson. Just merely has to guide it. And he does. And England fans rejoice. What a game for him. What a game for him, the Liverpool skipper. Well, he has uh, captain England here, though, Jordan Henderson. And now he's going to sit there. Well, Malou is coming off. And Amar Jamal is on. 37. And 
dressing room definitely will build. Proud of their efforts here though today. Opportunity for me haven't really sort of got going sort of in this contest. There's Kane across to Shackbury. Here's Rashford trying to get past it. Ben Elmore, another poor pass here though. Jordan Henderson looks for Sterling. That's another fine pass again. Raheem Sterling now. He's able to skip Parsons. Not quite able to find the sort of the finishing touch. Ben Amore now. There's Deli Alley. England keep possession here though. Dyer. They're going for that cross field effort here though. And there's uh, Rashford across. And a change for Tunisia. Yassine Chikehu is on. England are going to make their first change. Why change a winning situation? But Adam Lalana is coming on for Eric Dyer. Marshall on and oversee this side and make sure they continue to win through. But England will have another corner here. Henderson will take. And, uh, it's easily headed the way this time. And now this is Kenisi. He's just got Rose back here. He's all by himself. This is Chikahu who's come on. Kasri now. Chikahu, the defender. Kenisi. Kenisi again. Referee waves play on. Protest of a foul not given. That's another cross which is Butland's. A feature of the game here though Jack Butlin has uh, marshalled the area done well not made any sort of errors which has been known to happen to England players in these situations in big moments they seem to go missing this is Kenny see the centre forward he's coming deeper and deeper but England have opened the ball right up in front of him and that is the substitute in to score for Tunisia they've got one back it's 3-1 England have gone to sleep. It might not be Turnbull, but Chikahu's goal here is definitely going to hurt and dent one of so far. It's been a fine English performance. They push forward. None of the defenders were across here, though. That's probably a foul and a booking for Cahill. Referee waves play on. Chikahu is through against Butlands, who could do nothing about that. And Tunisia delight, they've scored here at the World Cup against England. Well, the margin itself is two goals, but three scored by England. And that late consolation dents things slightly. Here's Rose. Rose has lost out, and this is Kasri now, and Lalana's trying to chase him. He's staying ahead of him there. This is Kasri. He can put a cross into the box. He can. Oh, and Kenisi was across. This is still Kenisi. His effort. Badri! Oh, and Butland had to get that. England playing a dangerous game here. And one wonders if that is the last moments of the contest. This is Kasri. Chikahu. This is to Badri. Chikihu again. He's the goal scorer. He has found an opportunity. Jack Butler has saved that twice again. And the referee here has stopped play for a foul. And that just might be it. But that should have been the Tunisians with a second goal. England have looked wobbly here, though. Last few minutes. Butler to take. We're in time added on, on time added on. It's England. It's their night. Monday night football is magical for the men in red here in Volgograd. Tunisia gave it well. Harry Kane, the captain of England, known that his side have the perfect start. Gareth Southgate's system has worked. Jordan Henderson with two goals and a man in the match performance. Reminiscent of the man he replaced, Steven Gerrard. And full-time England have won here by three goals to one.